So what are we doing in Sin City? Well, we've been invited to a beauty pageant. But not just any beauty pageant. Mrs. Globe is a competition for women of all ages. Let the games commence. Some women at 50 could look... They Well, I mean, look at Madonna, for one. You know? How old's Madonna? She's 57. Is she really? Yeah. How do you know that? Because she's the same age as me. Really? Yeah. Bloody hell. But she got the time on her hands to run and work out, because she only works evenings. True. I would point out that you don't have a job. But for two days, she does have a job. We're not just watching the beauty pageant, we're judging it. It feels pretty weird for, for us to be judging other people based on their looks, doesn't it? Exactly. Because, you know, we're both peculiar. I've got a slightly rattish look, and Mum's got a sort of a moly look. <laughs> Ratty and moly, eh? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Ratty, let's go and do some moling. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite bit of the whole show. Now, this is how you enter a beauty pageant. You've got to enter glamorously, like this. <laughs> The pageant is taking place tomorrow night, so rehearsals are in full swing. There are over 30 women competing, and they're all here of their own free will. No one's forcing them to do it. Like, you know, when you see the little pageants and the kids are like, dressed up like prostitutes age five. I mean, these women are dressing like hookers for themselves. Hello. Hi, hey, I'm Russell. Nice to the meet you. The mastermind behind the Mrs. Globe pageant is Dr. Tracy Kemble. I feel a bit bad. We don't feel like we're worthy to judge. Judging is a very serious matter, and I don't think it's appropriate that you become a judge until you know what it really takes to get up until there. Until I've walked in their shoes. Dr Tracy is fixating on making me a good beauty pageant judge. My mum, she's fixating on something else. They've been waxed thoroughly. <laughs> I believe they put a pad there so you don't have a hoof showing. <laughs> Because that's not a very pleasant sight. I don't know men might like the hoof. I don't know. <laughs> but you like it, so we I've go... Never expressed, <laughs> I've never expressed... We've never had a chat about whether I like it. No, but what I'm saying, now you know about it, you're going to look at it and I think, am now, oh, yeah. Christ, I don't know if I like a hoof or not. <laughs> we'll keep our eye out for Stray Minges. That's what we can do. Wasn't Stray Minges the name of your folk band? It was. I, I'm Why'd so you quit? Cool. Well, I'm so glad you remembered about the folk band because the trouble is my fiddler went off key. And when your fiddler goes off key, you cannot get another fiddler for save the money. Especially the journeys we have to do because we travelled a lot. <laughs> and my fiddler did not. <laughs> <laughs> gone. That's the first time Mum's gone.